Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to a new episode where I review vintage fountain pens. This time is the second episode that I make from the hospital and I will bring to you today a beautiful beautiful fountain pen. I uh, acquired this beautiful beautiful celluloid uh, from the flea market and it was a bargain i paid for it only 138 lays or 27.89 euros or 31.94 american dollars and as you can see it comes in this beautiful beautiful celluloid this celluloid has um blue color to it in fact they call this model azure blue model i think you can see in this lighting then that the barrel is slightly transparent this beautiful celluloid fountain pen that you see in front of you is called the parker vacuumatic junior because of uh, its size the length of it is approximately 5 inches or 127 millimeters so this is the smallest version of this vacuumatic fountain pen and it's called the vacuumatic fountain pen a parker vacuumatic fountain pen because of its filling mechanism in the 1920s and early 30s the um, main filling mechanism was the so-called lever fillers which had this lever that you see on this uh, Walt Eversharp model and inside the barrel they had a sack so Parker brought to the market this new innovative filling mechanism they called it the vacuumatic because it developed a vacuum inside of uh, this barrel this barrel you can see it's quite transparent it is uh, made by a special uh, laminated and pearlescent material that are uh, hold together by a uh, method patented by parker and in this way you can clearly clearly see the inside of the barrel because this filling mechanism was quite quite interesting guys so if we turn this blind cap at the end of it we can see this rod and this rod contains the diaphragm right over here if we push on this rod it creates a vacuum and inside of it it has a breathing tube and through that breathing tube uh, the whole ink enters the body of the barrel it was more efficient than the old method of lever filling because it could hold a larger quantity of ink instead of uh, filling only the sack it uh, filled the entire barrel with ink guys so a beautiful beautiful fountain pen in this beautiful beautiful material at an unbelievable price my flea uh, my latest flea market find what is interesting about it is we can date it quite quite nice we can see thermically imprinted on the barrel some uh, engraves and i will uh, read them to you so we have made in canada parker vacuumatic and we have a pattern number three nine uh, i'm sorry three one eight nine eight two we have also a number at the end 50 and registered tms so we can date this fountain pen because of that engraving 50 it means it was made in the year 1950 in 
Canada. So you must know that this model was made in the USA between 1933 and the beginning of the 1950s and the Canadian models were produced till the end of the 1950s. So we have a beautiful, beautiful Parker Junior Vacuumatic made in the 1950s and this beautiful, beautiful model is fitted with a gold nib. Unfortunately, guys, this gold nib that I bought from the flea market has a little problem. It uh, lacks the iridium tipping of one tine and uh, I believe that the restoration cost of the nib will be around $40 and the restoration of the pen will be 30 American dollars so around 70 american dollars for a fountain pen that it was evaluated at around 200 dollars so quite quite a nice nice find for me this nib is the so-called arrow type nib you can find it both in two tones or in one tone like this particular one we have engraved on it 585 parker vacuumatic registered trademark and right at, be, at uh, the base of it we have made in Canada quite quite a nice 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 looking shiny nib at the end we have this uh, feeder an ebonite feeder again nice nice looking and we have this concave grip section and also those threads that will help you hold it firmly in your hand when you write with it guys I'm uh, sorry, I forgot to show you the beautiful, beautiful bullet shape cap. It is a beautiful, beautiful cap. It has two thick gold plated rings and a gold plated clip. Interesting that on the clip we have the same type of arrow shaped clip and uh, you can see in the middle of the feathers we have uh, engraved parker on it and the end of it has that beautiful beautiful arrow point ending we can see also a breathing hole in the celluloid one and the second uh, one uh, on the other part and the cap ends in this conic shaped jewel so a wonderful wonderful piece guys i will leave its dimensions on the screen it's not a large fountain pen but it's quite quite practical guys you can see in this lighting the beautiful beautiful transparency of the barrel and i must tell you from all the Parker Vacuumatics, I like this azure blue color to it. In fact, I was searching for this model for a long, long time. And I was fortunate enough to find it at the flea market. So, this guys, it is a particular fountain pen. The Parker Vacuumatics had many variations. This particular model is the third generation of this fountain pen and I said that because of this ending, this blind cap which is quite quite long and of this rod that you see right here. I have in my collection another Parker fountain pen from the end of the 30s and this plastic part here was um, in fact a metallic part and uh, this particular model has the traits of the fountain pens made during the second world war when uh, that metallic part was considered that material was considered a strategic part and they had to replace it with this plastic plastic material so one of the clues is uh, the difference the third generation and the other is this quite long long blind cap Another uh, difference is that we don't have a blue jewel here. The blue jewel was like a white dot from Sheffer. It was the lifetime warranty given by Parker to its fountain pens. Although it has not that uh, 
bl blue jewel in my opinion this is a quite quite nice fountain pen and uh, judging by the details it's quite a high level qualitative product by, made by Parker in Canada guys so if we compare it to other fountain pens you can see it's not a big fountain pen in fact I will leave its dimensions on the screen and after that I will make I so I will try to make a writing sample with it best for me to use the Parker ink for a Parker fountain pen I will just open the ink bottle and I will try to show you how it writes maybe in a future episode it will be interesting to I'm sorry guys it's quite difficult to open this bottle hmm so guys I'm sorry I have difficulties opening this bottle but uh, instead sorry I will use this Mont Blanc ink bottle which opens easily and I will show you so this isn't a proper writing sample but for just your curiosity I will show you how we can uh, if we can uh, write with this nib so Parker not uh, good enough Parker I'm just writing with one time guys so it's just like this Parker vacuumatic I really hope that I can fix it and practically this was my review of this wonderful wonderful piece again I bought it from for an unbelievable price and guys I fell in love with it now I want to acquire as many vacuumatics as I can and I must tell you that I will try to search actively search for this beautiful beautiful blue azure color thank you for your time guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if you've enjoyed this review please subscribe to my channel to support my activity from here in the hospital i wish you all the health in the world have a nice day wherever you are and stay safe guys in this pandemic time i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless